Hi everyone, this is Samarth and uh, today this video and this blog is on a very very controversial as a very very popular topic. Laws of Attraction, LOA for short. What is LOA? A lot of people think that laws of attraction is the ultimate thing in this universe. They believe that whatever they think for or whatever they feel for, they'll achieve it. Okay. Now, from my end, there is a little twist in it. Of course, with all due respect to all the people, big people, big theories which has, um, I mean, circulated more into laws of attraction. So it's all uh, due respect to one and all. According to me, laws of attraction is a fact, is a reality only to an extent. Why? Laws of attraction works on the principles of thinking and emotions. Now thinking and emotions are a very, very subjective term. Some emotion, some thinking process would be very, very deep rooted into a certain set of people and would be very, very peripheral to a certain set of people. For an example, uh, the bondage of society which we have in the Indian culture is not present in the Western culture. Now, what does laws of attraction has to do with it? Okay, fine. Laws of attraction means whatever you keep on thinking or whatever you, you keep on feeling and the vibrations are given to the universe, the same thing comes back to you. The universe understands that this is, this is what you're looking for. This is what you're seeking out and this is what you need and the universe gives you the same thing which you keep on feeling continuously. Now there is a catch in this. Laws of attraction takes into consideration the intensity of what you think and what you feel. For example, you think you want to go size zero and become the fittest person on earth just by thinking. No, it will not happen. Why? Because after thinking, you have to do something about it. So only thinking and only feeling will not make you reduce your weight. You have to do something about it. But let us say you are continuously feeling cornered in your life. You are continuously feeling deprived of happiness. Now that emotion is so deep rooted. It is so strong and genuine that irrespective, even if the existence is giving you all the happiness, you wouldn't come in touch with it and hence you will not feel any of those happiness. There is a very big theory of switch words. There is a word you keep on repeating and uh, it's, it's said that the universe gives you that. Now I'll again add a turn in it. It's not the universe which gives you that. When you keep on repeating that word, your subconscious and your unconscious mind creates a state within itself that you start feeling it irrespective the universe gives you or not. It's, it becomes your subjective reality just for you. Let us say if a person feels that he is extraordinary by being a PhD into a topic even if he or she is not extraordinary, his mind will create this non-reality reality that the person keeps feeling that he is extraordinary. He might not be so, but he'll feel it. This is the reason there are so many religions in this country. Everybody feels that they are superhuman. Irrespective, they are nowhere near reality. Laws of attraction will work only in terms of the potential you have. Let us say a person is, a female is attracted to Brad Pitt and she wants to get married. Do it. You would keep on thinking and feeling about it for the whole of your life and you will never get even see Brad Pitt. 
uh, male person is attracted to, let's say, uh, Emma Watson or Angelina Jolie or Katrina Kaif or Kareena Kapoor. Dude, you can just keep on thinking and keep on feeling. Nothing happens. Why? It's not your potential. Laws of attraction only work when you are ready, when you have that strong will and potential to reach to a stage where universe can give you back those things which you are thinking and feeling. And laws of attraction always works on the consistency of your emotions. If you feel stressed and deprived of happiness, Continuously, then there comes a time when your state is so strong that happiness does not even touch you. It's not the universe. It's you who is creating the problem. The same things work the other way. You create a hypothetical dreamy world so strong around you that you just don't connect with reality. This is the best of the brief I could give you on laws of attraction on this video. Remember, laws of attraction do work, but only to the extent where your emotions and thinking process connect. You cannot be peaceful with thinking or you cannot be peaceful with emotions because peace is something which is beyond thinking process and emotions. If you want to deep dive into this please buzz me in i would be more than happy to have a detailed discussion please share your views on this video i would be more than happy to read them take care keep smiling have a beautiful day peace